What's good YouTube, it's Adam from My Music Mogul and welcome to another video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to arrange your beats or at least give you a starting point on how to arrange your beats. A lot of times it's really just listening to the type of music that you're making that's already been produced, that's already out on the market and sort of listening to it and figuring out all the parts in the song and you kind of just match that and apply it to yours. You can switch it up if you like, but it's just a, definitely a good starting point to listen to music that's already in your genre and how that is arranged. Usually that gives you an idea of how to arrange the beats that you are making. So in this one, I'm going to go ahead and just bring in a beat here. I'm going to change in logic from keep to auto. This way, when we drag in this song, it's going to auto map everything. It'll be auto. Uh, the tempo will be auto set. You don't have to worry about anything. So I'm going to drag in the 24 golden uh, mood featuring Ian Dior. Let's say you want to make this type of song, this type of beat. We're going to go ahead and break down this song here. You can just ignore that message that pops up. It's going to cut out the top. Usually there's a little piece for mastering. We're going to put that on the one. Now, everything is already auto mapped. You can see the tempo is set to 91 beats per minute. And now it'll be easy for us to lay out the different markers and figure out the arrangement points. The next thing I do is hit this icon right over here. It'll bring down all these tools that you can use in your production. And we're just gonna focus on the arrangement section right over here. And if you hit this plus sign here, it'll give you a new section that says intro. And then from there in the drop down, you can choose the different types of sections in your song, or you can rename them whatever you like. And you can control how long it is by doing this. So now, literally what you have to do is listen to the song, figure out where the change-ups happen, and then lay it out like this so you can visually see the arrangement of a song. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now we are at the halfway point in figuring out the arrangement of this beat. So over here, we got a four bar intro, eight bar chorus, eight bar verse, four bar bridge, and we're going back into the chorus. Now, if this was actually your beat and you're arranging from your, uh, your MIDI and audio regions, really easy way to just use this right here is let's say you already predetermined how your chorus is going to sound, how your verse is going to sound. All you got to do is take this right here. Let's say we wanted to put in, actually let's put in our chorus. We can just take this and copy it over and Logic will automatically copy over that section and put that chorus right where you want it. If you didn't want it to do that, you can go ahead and change that as well. You can just click the arrangement here and go suspend content connection. And since I already know the chorus is going to be the same here, we can just take this put the chorus over there. It's not going to copy over the same information because right now we're just figuring out the arrangement of this beat. But just want to show you in case you're arranging with your own beat, that's how easy it is to create new sections in your track. You don't have to like find all of it and highlight. That could be confusing. Just copy that over and you are good to go. So let's carry on. <laughs> All right, so there we are. We have the arrangement for 24K Golden's Mood featuring Ian Dior very quickly. Just takes literally the amount of time that it takes for the song to play out. And now you figured out the arrangement of how popular songs actually are arranged. And now you can go ahead, take this information and apply it to your own beats. Now you know that, okay, popular music, generalized intro is four bars then you got a chorus at eight bars a verse at eight bars then you got a bridge or a pre-hook and you got the chorus for another eight bars verse eight bars pre-hook chorus and that's the beat right there now of course if you're double timing it or you're doing half time everything is going to get doubled so your intro will get eight chorus will get 16 verse 16 and so on but since we're at a 91 beats per minute everything is at four eight four eight eight uh, sort of increments. So that's how you figure out how to arrange the first step at least because it's always a big problem to figure out how to arrange your beats, what goes where, how long should my verse be, how should long should the chorus be. But for the most part, that is pretty much laid out with music that's already been produced and released. So definitely a good idea to just sit down, take 10 minutes, bring in some songs that you listen to and that you enjoy, see how that's structured and then apply it to your own beats. And yeah, of course you can switch it up from there. There are no rules, but this is just a general guideline for you to get started. And then you can actually also save this as a template in Logic and just pull this up every time so you don't have to guess or remember how long a verse or intro should be. Everything is right there. So that's how you get to arrangement. Really, really easy. Just listen to other songs and you get an idea of how to go about your own arrangements. That's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Later.